Welcome to Kids Story House. Hello everyone. Today we'll be reading a special book about the festival of Diwali. Diwali is a festival of lights. Let's read Bini's Diwali by Triti Omrigar. Bini woke up happy but nervous. It was her day to share about Diwali, the festival of lights. Since her class was learning about different celebrations, her teacher, Mr. Boomer, had asked her to talk about her favorite holiday. Last month, Sarah talked about Rosh Hashanah, and today it was Benny's turn. She hoped everything would go just as she and her teacher had planned. Benny started getting ready for school. She smiled as she noticed the Indian outfit mom and dad had laid on her chair. Maybe it was the perfect day to wear her new blue suit shoes. For good luck. Benny turned around and got a glimpse of her mom looking so beautiful in the bright red silk sari dad had bought her for Diwali. Everybody went shopping for Diwali. Kids got new clothes and toys. Parents bought each other jewelry and friends exchanged gift baskets filled with cakes and sweets and nuts. Wearing her new clothes, Bini ran downstairs for breakfast. Instead of cereal, mom and dad had a treat for her. Warm jalebis. Orange discs of sweetness that melted in her mouth when she bite into them. And soft milky peras that crumbled in her mouth and made her lick her lips. Dad quickly packed the rest for her class. May the words you speak today be as sweet as jalebis and as soft as peras, he said. Mom drove Benny to school. Remember to tell them about the oil lamps, she told Bini as she kissed her goodbye. Good luck, Ben. You will do great. After morning circle time, Mr. Boomer called Bini's name. But when she stood before the class, a terrible thing began to happen. Suddenly, she felt so shy and scared. Her mind went blank. Some children began to giggle. Others fidgeted, not knowing what to do. Today's Diwali, Bini said nervously. Diwa who? yelled Tommy. The teacher stood up and gave the sign for quiet. Bini did want to share her favorite holiday with her friends, but she couldn't find the words. Mr. Boomer put a kindly hand on her shoulder. Take a deep breath. He whispered, I know you can do this. Just then, Bini remembered what mom had told her about the lamps. To celebrate Diwali, people lit little oil lamps called Diyas and put them by their front doors to guide good luck into their home and chase away the darkness. All over the world, Diwali marked the victory of goodness and light. Bini now knew what to say. Diwali is the festival of lights. It is a Hindu holiday that lasts five days and it celebrates the victory of goodness and hope. She told them about the fireworks, how they whistle through the air and burst like stars in the night sky, leaving streaks of gold and red and green. She described the sparkles that lit in the yard, how she made figure eights with them, the golden sparks opening like a flower. Mr. Boomer brought over the streamers that Bini had made. She took out some colorful glitter and asked Juliet and Aisha to help her make them brighter. The class gathered around Mr. Boomer's desk as Bini handed him a tiny electric clay, Dia. The teacher turned it on. The small flickering light looked so pretty that all the children oohed and aahed. Bini told them that if 
On the valley, you look down from an airplane, you would see the city shine like a diamond, lights shimmering everywhere you looked. She made them close their eyes and imagine a dark sky with the million twinkling stars. The valley is a magical time for children everywhere. Penny had one more thing to show them, the best thing of all. She took out bags of colored powder, red, blue, yellow, purple, green, and orange, and sprinkled them onto the floor. First, she drew a flower with the powdered chalk. Then she used it to write, Happy Diwali to all. The children started clapping. Bini went to her desk, and out came the box of peras and jalebis one for each student in the class and for Mr. Boomer too. They ate every last crumb of the sweets and smacked their lips in delight. Romeo raised his hand. How many festivals are there in the world? he asked. Penny smiled. Thousands of them, she said, and they are all beautiful in their own way. Mr. Boomer leaned over to Benny and said, Great job! She grinned from ear to ear. Benny walked home that day celebrating her own victory of goodness and light. The spirit of Diwali was real. The story of the oil lamps had chased away her own fears. Everyone loved Diwali, this wonderful festival of lights. I hope you guys really enjoyed this Diwali book and have fun celebrating it. Bye-bye. Take care. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to read more stories. Bye-bye.